What's up guys, Danny Carlson here, and in this video, I'm gonna take you through the CEO dashboard for my 30 to 50K per month digital marketing agency called Kenji ROI. So I've created this dashboard to give me a good idea of what the team is doing. There's a full-time team of six members, and I can get a really good high-level view of how the business is doing in certain areas, what each of the team members are working on without being overwhelmed by a whole ton of tasks. So let's dive right into it. So. You can see here at the top, I like to start with the mission statement and just a reminder of what we're focusing on, right? So this is something called the Queen Bee role, the QBR. That is the most important role in the company that everyone should basically prioritize that over anything else, even their own role. So if someone else is doing just their regular job and then a different team member needs something from them to complete the Queen Bee role, then they should prioritize that and drop what they're doing, right? So ours is delivering accurate projects on time at quality we're proud of. And then below there, we just have our mission statement. It's just good to keep that top of mind. And then below that, I have my number one biggest business goal right there. So I want to take a one month vacation with zero emails or zero anything from the business by February 25th. So that's my goal because it allows me to create all the systems and processes and training the team members that I need that I could actually walk away from the business for an entire month. Um, and then I have my financial freedom goal right there. So I've very specifically calculated how much money I need on a monthly basis to basically live my entire dream life. So I have it calculated down to how much money do I need um, pre-tax personal income per day um, at you know, how much business revenue do I need to hit that at a 30% margin? And you have that very clearly defined there so I know what I'm shooting for. And at the top here, these are all links to things that I go through, um, you know, either on a weekly or daily basis. So my affirmation exercises, I go through that every single morning to keep myself in a really good headspace. My, um, you know, CEO duties and templates, things like payroll and other things that I come around to on a weekly basis, I go through different checklists and templates to make sure that I'm hitting all the things that I need to every single week. And then there's a weekly scorecard. Um, that's gonna take another video in itself, but that allows me a high level overview of the most key metrics in the business for every team member, for all of our marketing and everything like that, just all in one place. Um, and then I like to have my top three priorities right here at the top. So um, during the chaos of the week, I can still just always come back and look what are my top three priorities, and that will bring my focus back on track to those three things. And then below that, I have things that I'm monitoring, things that are kind of pending, that we're waiting on team members for that are really important. So I have those up here. And all these tables actually connect to each other. So this table and this table are exactly the same. They just have different filters on it. So this one has the monitoring tag on it. That's why it's showing up in the monitoring section. Um, and if I wanted to move it from the action items to the monitoring section, I just add the tag to it, right? And then here's the meat of it. This is my CEO action item. So I have it filtered by only ones I have tagged as today. So you can open up these as a page in itself. And that's where I organize all of my um, you know, information for that task there. I also have it sorted out as this week. So I, at the start of every week, I go through all of the tasks and then I delete any ones that I don't think are relevant anymore. I mark the ones that I want to get done that week as this week. And then day by day, I go in and mark the ones that I want to get done that day as today. So it keeps me from being overwhelmed by everything. And then I have big project milestones underneath there. So these are big projects that are going to be taking, you know, several months or at least several weeks to complete. So I have these down here just to, to keep a higher level overview of, okay, are we going to be on track for getting these big projects done? And then down below here, I have this little expandable thing here that opens up all the team tasks. So I keep that um, unexpanded so I can stay on track and stay focused unless I have to look into exactly what the team's doing. So the issue solving track, this is a really important one. So any really big issues that come up that need to be resolved, we have a special table for that. So the entire team can add things in there, update it, um, and we can all just monitor that to make sure that those issues are getting solved, um, like just the really important things, right? And then each one of these tables is for a separate team member. So this is the general virtual assistant, the GVA. Again, this is all the same tables, all the same action items database, but I've just tagged it. Um, this is filtered by only ones that are assigned to the general virtual assistant. That's Renato right there. Um, and this one's for the integrator. He is basically the operations manager. Then the marketing and sales. 
Um, again, all the same tables, but just filtered by the team member. And if I want to assign new tasks to them, I can just press new down here and it's automatically assigned to them and I can type in whatever they need. I can stay monitored on what the progress is on a lot of their tasks. And at the start of each week, I just go in here and again, just make sure that the team members are focused on the right things, that we're making progress on the right things. And this just all gives me a really good overview all in one place of basically what's going on in the entire business. So the entire business does not run off of this one template here, but it brings a lot of the different pieces that I need into one place and gives me that good overview. So there are other pieces that I'll be going over in other videos, but hopefully this gives you some insight into how I like to structure things. Um, this is all in Notion, which is a great tool, very powerful for creating custom dashboards like this. Um, and just embedding tables, embedding a bunch of links. You can embed Kanban boards in here um, and embedding documents within itself. You can tag documents. It's a really great internal linking system, so highly recommend doing that. If you found this video valuable too, let me know in the comments and I can create more videos for the different areas of the business that I've set up with similar dashboards and everything like that. So until next time guys, take care and go actualize some more freedom. Yeah.